crisis averted for now with the possibility of a government shutdown. Let's bring in Scott Bauer, the CEO of Prosper Trading Academy. Scott, the jobs report comes in at the end of the week. Jay Powell making some comments. What can investors and traders expect with all the cross currents in the market? Well, cross currents, absolutely, Angie. And, and you know, September is known historically and, and the statistics back it up as the worst month of the year for the market. October is known as the most volatile month of the year. So historically, returns are much better than they are in September. But I think, you know, starting off as we are, like you said, with all of these cross currents, with a ton of Fed speak, with the jobs number later this week, with everything else that is on the table here, that volatility absolutely is going to remain. There's no question about it. How are you trading the market? Yeah, absolutely. And in, in, in trading options, I would look to be selling option premium because premium levels, although historically they're not at really, really rich levels, they are the highest they've been in several months. So I do think we're going to see a lot of chop in this market. My guess is we are going to end the month a little bit higher, but I want to take advantage of selling premiums. So if, for example, SPY or you know, S&Ps were to come back down to, let's say, the 200-day moving average, I'd be looking to sell a put spread rather than necessarily buying upside or any stock that someone might be looking at. Uh, you know, Yesterday, we saw Tesla on the decline a bit. That's an opportunity for me if you wanted to get into a position like that to sell a put spread. And the same on the upside. If there's a stock rallying or so, I want to be selling premium right now. But I think all investors, all traders really need to understand there's going to be a lot of chop and a lot of back and forth over the next several weeks. Well, selling puts is one way to potentially profit on the volatility in the market. Thank you, Scott. Thank you, Angie. Go to businessfirstam.com for where to see our show on TV.